Hello everyone, good to have you. Welcome back. If you're a newbie, this is your home girl, Beauty by LQM. I really appreciate you for coming. And my return is you guys are wonderful. Like you've been keeping me on this. Like I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Mwah. Okay, today I'll be creating a beautiful gele tutorial. I will put the picture up so you can see what I want to create. So join me as I create this. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do not forget to thumbs up, yeah, and comment. Please share. I need to tell someone about about me I need you to grow this channel I can't do this without you thank you so much I really appreciate it so join me while we do Messi will be my model for today okay so I'll be starting off yeah she's already wearing her wig cap but if your model or your client or whosoever your tying girl on does not have a wig cap on all you need to do or the hair is not properly styled all you need to do is to push the hair backwards, look for a rubber band, tie it together so that it will be flat. You need the front to be flat. Then um, apply using edge control just to lay the her baby hair or better still the front hair flat. So that's basically what I'm doing. Right. This is the gele I'll be using. This is called a sego. Okay, and this is what I'll be using. And all gele is measured at 100 percent So but for this particular style of gele I'm tying, this style I'll just do it into two. So I'm not doing 40, 50 or 40, 60 or 45, 55. So I'm just doing 50, 50. So basically I'll place this on half. Forehead. That is the middle on her forehead. So I'll try and lay it flat. Wearing makeup, full face makeup. You don't want to start here, then by the time you push it, you to take the product off. So basically, prefer starting here. So this has worked so well for me. So please place your hand. So once her hand is there, I'll just try to adjust it, flatten it before. I will start creating. You can even. I'll start creating my subsequent leaf pleats. I mean, so this is basically how I'm doing it. I'm just generating my four basic pleats. So you can do more than four, depending on the width of the ashore okay. Sorry, or the gele, or the gele fabric you are using. So if you're a beginner, please do not have your nails as long as this. Seriously, you are disadvantaged if you have your nails long. So it won't allow you to work perfectly. So I have layered that side. So I'll be doing the same here now. Folding it firm and flattening the flattening the base. So please, this is very, very important. Then I will cross it. So this hand, I will use it underneath and bring this particular side at the top. So I'll get her to hold both for me. While so I I'll be taking this particular hand, stretch it to make sure that the back is very flat. Please turn so they can see. So you get it this flat. It's very, very important to have it this flat. Thank you. So now that I have this, the very first thing, I'll sit pick it, stretching it like this. So you flatten it. I'll cross this. Okay, to so the other side of the ear, but I'm laying it down. So, I'm creating the pleat again. So, I'm just basically placing it on the other pleat, the very first basic pleat I created. 
great thing. So you pick it, you flatten it. You have to get the ear part to be also very neat. You wouldn't want to be done and you have some things piercing out and it can be so ridiculous. So now that I'm here, I'll just create additional pleats. I had um, four before, so I created another four. So basically what I'll do now is to create another one to be fine. So I'm just having... So this is basically it now. Then you try to adjust to pull this out if need be. So right now, because I'm doing fun, so from here now, I'll create my fan. So basically, I'll just use pin to secure it, and that's why I use my needle and thread it lot. So if you have watched my other video on the, I'll put it up on the card so you can see. It. So I usually um, use needle and thread. Even when I go out for my bride for my jobs, I go with my needle and thread. So I use needle and thread to tack anything, tack everything. So I wouldn't have to start using office pin to start pushing and all the rest. So basically, what I do just to get my model to help me press a handheld to keep it secure while I just roll this. So I'll just roll it and leave it. Then this second hand so I'll roll this or twist it depending on what you choose to call it. So I'm just twisting it. And I'm twisting it to be neat. So you see guys, I'll twist it, then I'll bring it in. So basically, I'm using it to secure here, okay? So I'll still get my model to place her hand there to just hold it for me while I tie it. So while doing that, you might need to use paint to just secure the one you're moving to the back, the hand you're moving to the back to the gilly itself so it does not move. So basically this is it. So um, I'll get her to turn right now. So I get her to turn right now. I'm coming here to secure this. Okay, I this is the one I used to create the fan. I created the fan out of it. So so honestly, my nails is really being an obstruction. So please, if you're a beginner. I would advise you don't work with your nails. If you're a beginner, I would advise you don't work with your nails. Tying them alone self is tiring. Not top of when you have to fight with other obstruction, other things obstructing you.
So I'm just trying to find ways to secure this particular one as well. <laughs> so I'm not done yet. I'm just trying to secure this so it doesn't lose. Okay, so I'm done securing it and this is the after, you know, so I tied this on a bride of mine. You see the picture there. Okay, so this is what I have. It's easy and at the center. Now, so please, if you're a beginner, please, your clothes shouldn't be this long. Seriously. You won't like it. It shouldn't just be this long. So, but if you can work with your long nails, it's actually okay. So, this is it. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to thumbs up, comment. If there's any other style you want us to try, don't forget to comment below. Please, I need you to grow this channel. I can't do this by myself i need you thank you bye till my next video